Welcome back to the channel, everybody. How has everybody been? It's Mags here. We are back again with some more Witcher 3 content. We start off exactly where we left off, as per usual. It must be the horse first. But this is no true unicorn. Come on. Perhaps an apple will work. Or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister. Were you still a virgin? Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We shall try the sweets. Hey, folks. Gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? Find a treat. Crispy apple. Should like that like any other damn horse. Cold game's not likely to tempt a unicorn. Stand up. I want me to use the apple. Why can't I move fast? What? Oh, that slide helped that bit. Easy. Gardens are huge. Be better off on horseback. All right, we're going to retrieve. Hopefully she got her item that she needed to get. If you please, your grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. Geralt, at last. What do you mean at last? I've got two items, you got one. And a clue. And I've another. Show me yours. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. That makes no sense. Followed with ease. Hard cheese. That was pantry, maybe? Hollowed out with ease. Cave. No. A greenhouse. Don't think so. Something's cramped. Mice and cheese. Palace pantry, maybe? No. The hare is obliged to hide here in the gardens. Look, if we take Rome. Hollow it out and fill it with ease. The letters, that is. We get green. Then mouse. But starting with what heads heart. House. Right. Why, it's greenhouse. Hmm. 
pretty clever, and it sounds right to me. There are several greenhouses in the gardens, but only one with a door that locks, and the key to it looks just like the one we found. Well, it's gotta be that one then. Let's go. I don't know why I'm leading, I've got no clue what the greenhouse is. Wait here. Ah. I don't know if it should be safe to follow though. No really. No, too late. Very long claws. I've got to feel like we're not fighting just yet. We might do. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. Certainly looks like some sort of arena fight. I'm here. This belonged to you, maybe? It did, but you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? Try, try not to. Uh, conversation's not about me, is not actually about me. Not here to talk about me. Yet that is exactly what we are doing. So, did they send you after me? Who are they? What do you mean, they? Duchess hired me. You've been murdering her subjects. <laughs> Is it as simple as that? I would ask you to convey to the Duchess that I've but one victim left. But you'll not get the chance. Oh, I need to, need to heal as well. My in here with half health. Oh now we got four health, alright. Let you kill again. This is pretty good, this. this. Alright, I was a bit slow with that one. I feel like I hit that one.
Got this. You are to stay where you are. Regenerate. I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself. No, he's my friend. Bit cheap, I hadn't, I hadn't finished, so should have. Yes, Geralt, it's me. Regis? I, you all right? All is well, all's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you, we... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak form, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. I'd say how do you regenerate, but it seems pretty easy. Regeneration. How do you manage it? I had help. From the one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. So you being here, it's no coincidence? Your powers of deduction seem to have waned not one bit. I'm happy. I came here for Tetlaf. I fear he's become entangled, landed himself in serious trouble. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is, how would you humans put it, more bestial than I am. But not to worry, I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here, at least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand, Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. Interesting. Yeah, what so good what reason is it? What are his reasons? Precisely what I wish to find out. And then I will convince him of the error of his ways. Got a lot of faith in the guy. Despite Seems like appearances it. to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Remember the year 964? That was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost 200, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefort sure. melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter, regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. 
a bond so strong humans cannot even imagine, which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent, one they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct, his tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Hey, yeah, you got an idea what I angered him in the first place? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off. How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. <laughs> Suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. Yeah, gotta find him. Gotta find him before something upsets him even more and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find yeah, you. Yeah, so. time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine. Yeah, fine. Right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd make shift quarters at Mela Chaise Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. <clears throat> Sirs, we must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. Hmm. Is there actually anything in here that we need, though? But another tale of a life compromised and ultimately claimed by greed and ambition. That's it. Okay, what else we got mission wise? This one is the only extra one, I think. Oh, and this one. But we're going, we're going to do both, really. Okay, so we can't even get up that way. There's no place like home, which we might be able to drop off some of our loot that we don't want to carry around all the time, which would actually be very handy. Fair folk, it's recommended you stay in your homes after dark. The beast is punishment for our lax morals. No. Okay. Let's go. You'd 
Best behave, Trick. You're in both clear, mm. see? Wish it. I have a matter of prime urgency and import. A I must speak to you. Slayer. My, my. Your wound. Feeling better? It's healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden, nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. Uh... Let me guess. She suddenly grew cold, haughty, and distant, though the night before she was flirtatious and alluring. Tut tut, Witcher. You jest, yet the matter is grave. <laughs> though yeah. The lady in question is dear to my heart. I shall not deny it. I fear she has fallen victim to ill magic and knows no one she could turn to for help. Okay. What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged, ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped Stone Colt in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase that time. I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. Strange. I noted that often come night, she ventures into the woods where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. She might be a vampire, maybe. Notice anything else unusual sound? Sound you heard. She might have just had a sore throat. Had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. Sure. Notice any other strange behavior? Additional symptoms? No, Vivian's avoided me wholly since the first encounter. But folks gossip. What about? They say she's secretive, that no one ever sees her after dusk. That she's wont to suddenly disappear. Nothing unusual about any of that. Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting. Her father, a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named a tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution already. You should take my place in the lists and thus gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. Tell me more about this tourney. How's it work exactly? It is the year's grandest and the most important contest. Knights from all corners come to face off for the grand prize. And more importantly, for glory. A demanding test of knightly prowess in horsemanship, marksmanship, and fencing. I qualified for the first time, had great hopes of winning. Yet... Yeah, I get it. Anything for Vivian. Alright. Fine, I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. 
I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Meaning? Could you show me how you shoot, ride and fight, perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ, require skills you don't usually apply, races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's try to practice. I feel I need to do some shooting. Come with me. The marksmanship contest shall pit you against another for the best time and score. He who hits all his targets first wins. Hope my aim's as good as that Cupid's who shot you. Sometimes when you speak, I miss the meaning entirely. Ah, okay. As long as that has to be super duper accurate, it should be easy. Red targets. Easy. Once more? Nah. No, no, that is definitely enough. We're pretty good at that. Done enough shooting. Where to now? If you wish to know my thoughts, were I you, I would train on the race course ahead of all else. The thing is, the combat training is the one that probably needs the most. Excellent idea. Like Come with me. blocking and stuff, because I don't think you're supposed to kill them. The tourney's race differs from others you might have taken part in. Your you shall not ride against any opponent. How's it a race at all then? It's a race against time. The true track begins in the arena, runs round the tourney grounds, then finishes again in the arena. The training track, however, lies beyond the arena. We shall go there now. So you got to race around the arena. Okay. We'll give it a go. We'll get everything ready for the tournament, and then what we'll do is we'll... We won't do the tournament. You have to hit them with the crossbow. Cut with your blade. The targets, you must hit from your crossbow. The time you have to complete the course this is going to be quite difficult actually land a strike be it with blade or bolt it may sound simple enough yet i've seen many a knight fail this contest and hang his head in shame during the race proper judges throughout the course shall tally your points for now you may ride unperturbed by those matters this is okay All right, slow down. Okay. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Pretty good so far, I think. That's not too bad. If that's pretty much the same course, then that's fine. So, have you had enough, or do you wish to ride again? No, that's all good. Had enough. Rather not wear my horse down before the real race. Exactly. Now? Well, the last one is combat training. Be nice to swing, do some footwork, work up a sweat. Very well. We shall practice infantry combat one on one. Each knight opts for his own method. Rainfarn, for instance, fights halberd in hand. Come with me. Okay. You will team with other knights to fight. Ninety nine seventy. Should 
should be 90 now. 85. Fine. Yeah, use that one anyway. Ash simulates a true skirmish during battle. Come the end, you should fight a duel. It will determine your place on the podium. I always liked the duels the best, but now I can think only of my Vivian. In the end, it is good you will replace me. I sense I would simply be distracted this time. The gods have sent the beast as punishment for our sins. Oh, where is it off to? Mm -hmm. A fruitful hunt to you, Witcher. Ah, uh, damn it. A knight will approach and challenge you. You need not ask me twice. Given you no choice. The end! This is it! Look alive! Did I win? Wish to practice fighting a moment longer? Nah, I get it. Okay. Yeah, fun. Think I've seen enough. Sorry to be blunt, but the simplest Witcher contract demands more skill than this kind of combat. Now you must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. Fun. Always with reason. Brave son Milton, you left Gotta go to the inscription tent. Alright, we'll, we'll travel over to there, and then... All this running around. Alright. Perfect. The inscription tent. Before we head into the inscription tent, I'd like to say thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed today's content, then please do consider liking and subscribing. It does about the channel quite a lot, and hopefully I'll catch everyone in another stream or video sometime soon. Ah, peace.